family of uh, staff and customers, I accept this honor with great humility. I dedicate this honor to my wife, Jane, and our family, who have been made a great inspiration and source of support in my life. I also dedicate this honor to the equity family of board members, my colleagues, staff, and our dear customers for their divided commitment and belief in equity dream. It is through your support that we have together built a successful business that has become a beacon of hope and happiness for many families and households in the region. I dedicate this recognition to all Kenyans who believe in themselves, those who believe that Kenyans can shape their own destiny, those who work so tirelessly to break their chains of poverty and dependency, those who strive to claim to reclaim their dignity through hard work and resilience, those who work hard, work smart, and never give up, those who can, uh, those Kenyans who believe that Kenya can and will be a better place. This recognition is theirs. These honors awarded, awarded me is more than a recognition of work done. A doctorate of business is to me an inspiration to continue with my journey and commitment of serving my country, my people, and my continent. In accepting this honorary doctorate of business, I therefore dedicate my efforts and commitment to the equity dream. The dream of serving society by availing them the opportunities and the tools they need to change their lives, their destiny, and bring joy and happiness to their families and community. To this end, I especially thank the University Council, the Senate, the management of Meru University of Science and Technology, for befitting me with this honor. As the Chancellor of this University, I promise that I will do my best to make my contribution in making this University a competitive center of excellence in technology. We are living at a time when technology innovations are a key driver in business. I will therefore do my very best to make Meru what it ought to be. Finally, I promise the University fraternity and all its stakeholders to uphold the value, dignity, and expectations that comes with this recognition. Thank you all. May God bless you. Ningate and when we say during the past the, during the 2013-2014 academic year to address the congregation. The Chancellor, Dr. James Mwangi, CBS, the Senate, Meru County, Honorable Kwaito Murundi, the Governor, Meru County, Honorable Kitamunya, Honorable Members of the Parliament, Ambassador, Dr. Francis Mzaura. EGH, members of diplomatic corps, principal secretary present, members of the county assembly, councillors present, chairman of various university council present, vice councillors present, invited guests, university staff, my fellow graduates, parents and students, ladies and gentlemen. I'm deeply honored to join you on the second graduation ceremony of Mary University of Science and Technology. My name is Minate Edwin Matei. I'm a son of this great university. My message is a plea to the graduates for you to take advantage of opportunities that you may have at the time that they are offered to you. Because if you wait for the right time, that time may never come and you could be missing out a chance of a lifetime. Each of you has earned the respect of the whole community of Meru University for making it here today, utilizing this respect for social economic growth. The friends 
families and support network in the audience, you too have earned our respect and our gratitude for standing for your loved ones as they pursue their dreams and secure their degrees. It's our pledge that your effort will surely bear a lasting fruit. On the behalf of all students of Meru University of Science and Technology, I would like to congratulate all the graduates who will shortly be awarded certificates, diplomas, and confirmed degrees. Graduates, as you walk out of this graduation square, sorry, I trust that you'll make the best of the rest of your life. Despite the many challenges that we come across, I'm very confident that having gone through Mary University of Science and Technology, you're better equipped for our future and excellence life. To the University Administration of Mary University of Science and Technology, we appreciate your efforts in mentoring us and enabling us to be accepted in the competitive job, job market. To our parents and guardians, the contribution that culminated into today's occasion is priceless. We can only reciprocate these good gestures by being responsible and productive citizens of our motherland, Kenya. God bless you, Abakli. Thank you. Mr. Tanchara, sir, I take this opportunity to invite the Vice Tanchara to address the congregation. The Chancellor, sir, allow me to first of all start recognizing those who are among us. And that there are very many of us. And I say thank you very much for being here with us so that we all of us can celebrate together. Graduates, invited guests, university staff, parents, students, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it is my profound pleasure to welcome you to Meru University of Science and Technology. I equally extend warm welcome to all distinguished guests who have joined us during this great occasion of our second graduation. Mr. Chancellor, sir, let me formally congratulate you for the award of Doctor of Philosophy that you deservingly got. By virtue of this award, I welcome you to the academic fraternity of Meru University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the second graduation ceremony marks part of the realization of our dream to produce competent manpower for our national economy and the region. Pursuit to this goal, we will continue to strengthen our quality assurance and enhance access to higher education for more Kenyans and beyond. Mr. Chancellor, sir, over the last five years, the university has achieved tremendous growth in the areas of physical infrastructure, students and the staff population, as well as academic programs. Mr. Chancellor, sir, as a university of science and technology, we are fully focused on producing skilled and competent graduates. Our graduates will be job creators rather than job seekers. Already our diploma graduates from engineering department are the preferred technical services, service providers in electrical installation, masonry, welding, and the motor vehicle maintenance in this part of Kenya. Mr. Chancellor, sir, we are fully conscious and committed to the government call for efficient service delivery to Kenya. To this end, the university has installed an enterprise resource planning here a P system which has extremely improved the service delivery to our stakeholders. Further, we will continue making quality management system culture a reality rather than a mere foundation. In, com in complementing quality culture orientation, we have fully institutionalized performance contracting practice among us, our staff for day-to-day -day service delivery. Mr. Chancellor, sir, every institution acclaims competitive edge in one or more organization propositions. 
our university has taken steps to promote and to take lead in agriculture, food science, and particularly in the areas of value addition to promote food security. We have established a school of agriculture and food science whose programs are deliberately designed to produce practical, gra practical graduates needed to revolutionize food production in Kenya and beyond. We will go beyond the classroom and provide functional food production services through extensions, research, and community services. Further, the university has established a school of health sciences with the emphasis in preventive and diagnostic medicine to serve Kenya and the beyond. Of course, we have many others. We have science and technology. We have all areas of information and technology, all the areas of engineering, which is a requirement in the world today. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the university is very proud of your donation to establish an innovation, incubation, and entrepreneurship center. The university management, in liaison with the university council and the advisory committee, will ensure that the center is up and running within a record time from commencement. We also guarantee all Kenyans that the benefits of this center will be felt by all our partners and the clients. Mr. Chancellor, sir, finally, we are fully aware of the government flagships projects in our region, particularly the Lapset project, which I mentioned earlier, and in which you are also sharing in the Vision 2030. The university has strategized itself to partner with the government and all the other partners by training much needed artisans and the technical staff for serving the hospitality. We are aware the airport is complete, which is 15 minutes drive from here. The railway lines which will be built, roads and the pipelines and the refinery for that lapset project, we will endeavor to produce more tailor-made technical human capital for the resort cities proposed in Isuru, Royangani and the Lamb. Mr. Chancellor, sir, like all other institutions, the university and its share of charities, which we have continued managing in the most amicable ways possible. The issue of squatters, and I'm happy because you are Honorable David Karevi is here with us today, and the uh, pure interrogation to we can get to learn exactly what is uh, happening. The issue of squatters on the university land is still with us, and the government of Kenya is handling it. It is our hope that the matter will be resolved soon. As you all are aware, Meru University of Science and Technology is a public university which must have the face of Kenya. We wish to request for understanding from local communities on the matters of employment as we must balance this delicate issue as part of the law of our country. Another challenge, Mr. Chancellor, sir, is the delayed construction works. We appeal to our suppliers, contractors, and the project managers to ensure timely completion of the projects awarded to them. Mr. Chancellor, sir, with these few remarks, it is now my humble pleasure to invite the Chairman of the Council to embrace the congregation. God bless us all. Yeah. Chancellor, Dr. James Mwangi, our chief guest, Mr. Pete Munga, Peter Munga, the representative of the cabinet secretary, Mr. Nyaribo, the governor of Mary County, Honorable Peter Munga, Honorable members of parliament, members of the diplomatic corps, this whole secretary is present, members of the county assembly, chancellors present, chairpersons of various university councils present, vice chancellors of other universities present, graduates, Invited guests, university staff, parents and students, 
ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Mayor and President of Science and Technology Council, it is my great pleasure to invite you all to the second graduation ceremony. And I take this opportunity to congratulate our Chancellor for the award of Doctor of Philosophy at Mary University of Science and Technology. This award is a demonstration of our vision as a university to appreciate success and recognize it. Graduation marks the culmination of many sacrifices made by different persons, including graduates, parents, guardians, and sponsors. Thank you all. I congratulate the graduates present today for the efforts and endurance they put in place. I wish you all the best as you join other teams in serving our beloved I wish to assure you all stakeholders Mary University of Science and Technology will continue to educate and train and nurture students to become professionals in their chosen career paths. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the university is grateful to the government for continuous assessment of computation. I kindly request the government to raise the level of capitation and especially to young and growing universities such as Mary University of Science and Technology. Mr. Chancellor Sir, the Council, as an oversight authority, has continued delivering its mandate to make sure that government policies are enforced and cherished for the betterment all university stakeholders. In particular, the government has continually ensured that university resources are efficiently employed and benefits transferred for students and staff. Mr. Chancellor, sir, the council is overwhelmed by your philanthropic gesture of the gift of 10 shillings. We equally thank the advisory committee of the innovation, incubation, and entrepreneurship sector project led by Ambassador Lowe. To this end, we will continue strengthening university structures and systems to align current demands of the government. Mr. Tasker, sir, the council appreciates the cooperation and understanding received from the university community, including the students and their parents and our close partners. We will continue fostering this spirit in the days to come. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to conclude my remarks by stating that the university is well prepared in delivering its mandate and obligations to the public. We are all committed to achieve this end, and as chairman of council, I pledge that the university will take all necessary steps to deliver and serve the people of Kenya. Once again, I congratulate all the graduates on this auspicious day and wish you well in your future endeavors. Thank you. May I now check this opportunity to invite the representative of the cabinet secretary to make his remarks. The Chancellor, Dr. James Mwangi, Senator Meru County, Nazantia, Honorable Kiraiti Murungi, the Governor Meru County, Honorable Peter Munya, Chief Guest, Mr. Peter Munga, 
Ambassador Francis Mutaura, members of the Diplomatic Court, Principal Secretary present, members of the Counter Assembly, Chancellors present, Chairman of the University Councils present, Vice Chancellors present. We recognize Professor Maranku and Professor Mutema who are here and many others who may have come. Invited guests, university staff, parents, students, and all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm here representing the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. Kindly Dr. James, uh, the ministers, congratulations on behalf of the whole sector of education. It is my great pleasure to be here today to share in the joy and celebration of the second graduation ceremony of Mary University of Science and Technology with all the stakeholders. This occasion marks great achievement not only to individual graduates, but also to the nation of Kenya as we increase more human capital to our labor market. First and foremost, I wish to recognize the role of government and the education sector in anchoring education parameters that lead to holistic development of our youth, culminating in what we are witnessing here today. Since independence, the education sector has, been major, has seen major changes that have had transformational impact on socio-economical development of the country, driven by highly skilled manpower for which provision for quality education cannot be overemphasized. As a ministry, we are fully aware that Kenya will only realize the aspirations of our knowledge economy by ensuring relevant, accessible, and equitable university education and continually upgrading skills and competencies of the workforce. Furthermore, on the same period, there has been remarkable paradigm shifts in the liberal programs, from chalkboard to smartboard, from world classrooms to open digitalized classrooms, from crowded classrooms to e-learning, from demonstrating to laboratory, laboratory simulations. I recognize the fact that such development also requires resources individual commitment and self-discipline, without which no quality of education can be realized. Ladies and gentlemen, while emphasizing compliance to technology, I'm aware of the challenges facing institutions of higher learning, including budget and constraints, sourcing and attracting competent staff, equipment and infrastructure. Governments support to meet part of the current and capital development has made university education at public institutions affordable and consequently increasing access to higher education. To augment government funding, institutions of higher learning are encouraged to strive and increase their income from internally generated resources. Private sector, alumni, and other partners to spur development through public-private partnerships. I'm pleased to note that many universities are already utilizing these resources and supporting research activities among staff. And indeed, as a ministry, we are committed to inclusive and quality management systems that promote education, science, technology, and innovation, paying special attention to issues of relevance and responsiveness to the market trends of national priorities. Universities world over impart skills and knowledge to not only ensure employability of graduates, but also capacity building, nurture and develop community and business leaders to contribute to the economic well-being of the country. The Ministry of Education, therefore, takes pride in working closely with all universities and other institutions of higher learning to help realize national goals and objectives through creation and development of a highly trained and competent manpower. 
with the skills and knowledge acquired, I challenge you, graduates, to go out and demonstrate capability in developing practical and sustainable solutions for the benefit of humanity. It is my conviction that you have been adequately prepared and equipped to face the challenges and opportunities that are wait for you in the world of work. Once more, I congratulate you all on your achievement and encourage you to uphold high morals, discipline and professionalism wherever you go. To the continuing students, I urge you to focus on your studies and observe discipline in order to successfully complete your course of study as planned. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Mr. Chancellor Sun, it is my pleasure to invite you to introduce the chief guest. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chancellor. As we undertook um, uh, last year, we said we will have a major focus, this university focusing on entrepreneurship, innovation, science, and technology. And today, on a uh, event, a movement that we were recognizing a business, we felt it was appropriate to invite an entrepreneur who could really articulate and speak on the subject of business. And I want to say I've been very privileged that over the last 25 years I've had um, Mr. Peter Munga as the chairman of the equity group. Mr. Peter Munga is an entrepreneur, is a founder chairman and founder owner of Equity Bank back in 1984. Beyond Equity Bank, uh, Mr. Peter Munga has interests in various enterprises that demonstrates and epitomizes him as a serial entrepreneur. Those of us uh, who are Close to him, know of his interest in the Britain Group, in the Housing Finance Group, in uh, NAT farming, NAT processing, in the education sector, from primary, secondary to university level, and others that may be uh, is associated with enterprises like agriculture. For that reason. Given that I fully understand Mr. Monga, and I'm a great beneficiary of his mentoring and coaching in terms of, of business acumen, I thought there would not be a better person than to invite Mr. Monga, who not only would then come as a guest, but would invite him to be a friend and a member of the Mary University of Science and Technology and give us a part of his entrepreneurial